Hi there again, I am Muzaffa. In previous videos, we managed to find the width of the hydraulic flocculation tank and also the depth of the flocculation tank. Now our task to find the length of the flocculation tank. Right, if we know the number of channels in a compartment, we should be able to find the length because the width of the channel is equal to the distance between buffer has been given to us, the value, and the, the thickness of buffer has also been given in the questions. So no problem about that. Notice that in a compartment, the number of buffer is always less than one than the number of channels. For instance, we have one, two, three, four, and five channels. We have one, two, three, four buffers. You see, buffer is always less than one than channel in a compartment. We have already calculated the total distance traveled by water in the flocculation tank, which is 255 meters. Should we know the distance for water to travel in a channel, then we should be able to find number of channels in the flocculation tank. I repeat it again. Let's say, imagine in a channel, water travel for a distance of one meter, in one channel, one meter, and we know that the total water travel in this flocculation tank is 255 meters. That means we have 255 channels because simply the total distance, 255, divided by the distance water travel in a channel is only one meter. The question now is, what is the real distance for water travel in a channel? That's something you have to find out in my final videos. Thank you very much.